Hi guys, welcome. Thank you for dropping by. I have a special guest with me today, my sister. Hey guys, I'm Chini Gonzalez. I'm a singer, songwriter, and recording artist. You can check out my music on Spotify. But you can also check out her YouTube channel as well. So for today's video, I thought that it would be fun if we shared our personal Indeed. experiences that we experienced during our wedding planning season. If you don't know, I got engaged last January and I got married last June. And she got engaged last July. July. And then she's getting married next month. Yay! So it's less than a month so i decided that this is the perfect time to do this video because the year's ending and we basically did our wedding planning during 2019. we kind of want to share our insights i just hope that this video will be helpful to some if you are maybe engaged or hoping to be engaged soon we're gonna share with you sort of like the lessons we learned we're gonna split that into three questions by the way if you're wondering where the men are basically they didn't plan the wedding so why are they gonna be here <laughs> i'm just kidding they're working hard working hard <laughs> <laughs> and here we are making a video. <laughs> this is just us today. Sorry. First question. What did we learn about ourselves during our wedding planning? What's the tea, sis? She's drinking matcha. I'm drinking coffee. So what's the tea? It's matcha. <laughs> Much as it okay, first of all, I kind of was scared that I was going into a time in my life that I wasn't really prepared for. I think no one's prepared. Yeah, I know. I think no one's prepared for this. But in terms of like adulting and being responsible, I was kind of nervous and I kind of doubted myself that I wasn't gonna be good at it. And I doubted myself. So one thing I really learned is that you don't have to know everything before you enter this time of your life or while you're in that time of your life. But there are always people who are willing to help me learn things and be responsible also I realized that I don't have to learn everything right away but I can learn them slowly because we always get the feeling that we have to like learn it all quickly take it all in but I realized that okay I can learn slowly I'll get there eventually again there's people who will teach you how to be an adult responsible and a wife that I guess that was what I was nervous about like taking care of my own house or taking care of a person in general that's what I learned don't be afraid and I'm not alone and I can learn slowly. What I learned during that stage was that I can live below my means. I'm not a huge spender to begin with, except when it comes to food and treating yourself. Before my engagement, I thought I was already good at budgeting. But after my engagement, I realized that it's, okay, hard. Yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> it's hard. I had a deeper understanding of budgeting without neglecting my basic needs. You suddenly know when something isn't worth spending for when you're motivated by the worth of what you're saving for. Question number two. Question number two is what did we learn about our fiance? This is my favorite part. <laughs> We're gonna be nice. Okay. <laughs> During the wedding planning, I didn't really learn something new about my fiance, but what I appreciated was that he was as excited to plan our wedding as much as I was. What? What? I <laughs> he was excited. <laughs> he was as excited to plan the wedding as much as I was. Yeah, it makes sense. Correct. It's correct. <laughs> Basically, we had the same preferences and we wanted the same style for our wedding. So planning it in terms of like the theme and all that stuff was pretty easy. But that's what I really appreciated because we usually see the stereotype that the fiance proposes and then after that, he doesn't really care about what the bride picks. They just leave all the planning to the bride. So he kind of broke that stereotype. I mean, I bet there's a lot of guys out there who are involved in the wedding planning. So I was just just very thankful that he was involved for our wedding because in reality in a relationship a man is supposed to lead he showed that character he was leading we were making decisions together that's like a really good way to practice how your marriage will be later on so i really liked and appreciated that about him for me yeah same my fiance is also very involved especially in the decision making what i love about him what i learned is i saw how important it was for him to secure our future like our house our safety our finances he knows his role as a future husband to provide and to protect being in a relationship is exciting especially if your boyfriend or fiance is sweet and loving but i think what makes a man is his ability to lead you and your future family so i think that was one of the qualities that i really appreciated during this whole stage of planning 
We got some good guys yeah. with that. Yeah. Good thing they aren't here right now. <laughs> so our last question is, what did we learn about God or what did God reveal to us during this time in our life? Because it is a very important season. Maybe for some people, they don't see like the weight of it. So this was a very amazing and challenging. Life-changing journey. Yeah. Of course, we learned a lot. But I think like for me, the main thing that God revealed to me was everyone has a different story and God God orchestrates our love stories in a different way because when we were engaged people would share their own personal stories about how they would go through hardships during the wedding planning or they would come to a point where they didn't know what to do things got cancelled and things didn't work out but in the end God would surprise them and God would give them exactly what they need it would be such an amazing miracle which is amazing and it's really nice to hear those stories it's really encouraging especially when you're like in the beginning of your engagement you're kind of thinking of how everything's gonna turn out but God makes our stories different because for us planning a wedding and that whole time was like super chill I mean yeah there was like a few stressful moments a few complications with some suppliers and some things that we expected didn't really turn out but it wasn't like those major things and pretty much it was just pretty chill I kind of wondered why but technically I realized that we didn't even come to a point where where we felt hopeless or we felt like we reached the dead end or things aren't turning out the way that we wanted and I think that's the blessing in itself you don't have to go through like a storm to realize that God is so good and our super chill wedding planning was the blessing in itself it's just like all grace because of that we enjoyed that part of our lives and how God was sustaining us throughout what I learned during this time is that He is a God of peace whenever we make decisions because we're in a hurry or whenever we compromise things we always feel anxious there are also moments where we think we made the right decision yet things still don't go the way you want them to be or it doesn't feel right especially when we don't consult what I realized is every single time we wait for his timing we seek his word ask for advice from our parents or the people around us there's always peace he blesses the decisions that honor him honor our parents and decisions that honor each other because you can go through good Good times yet still feel anxious things can be going well but then there's like the voice in the back of your head that's like, like what if everything goes go wrong, wrong. <laughs> yeah but with God you can go through bad times yet still feel at peace and that's something that I really felt throughout our journey and so every time we make a decision we make sure that this is really what God wants for us yeah basically we learned a lot <laughs> we are just so thankful and technically you're not done yet so I'm really excited for her you never know what else is gonna happen yeah. but like in a good way I'm very excited for her like Merry she's Christmas. getting married you still have a few details to yeah. fix and stuff but I hope from now it's all gonna go smoothly and yes. I think it will so thank you guys for watching I hope this video was helpful or encouraging in some way especially those who are either about to go through that time of their life or are going through the wedding planning we all will probably have different experiences during engagement and planning a wedding i mean hopefully you can take something out of this and hopefully you guys will also learn something new about yourselves your future spouse and also about god and i think that's the most important yeah. knowing what god is teaching you in your life so thank you so much for watching and thank you to my sister for being Thanks. here <laughs> if you guys want to check out her music or social media platforms they're in the description below and if you guys want to see more content from me you can subscribe and click the notification bell you can also follow me on instagram if you want to see more about my life and if you like this video you can like it but if you don't share it and maybe it'll help someone else and i'll see you guys next time bye, bye guys i don't want to interrupt the flow just point okay okay where's your subscription okay. button no you don't do that okay. we don't do that here <laughs>